Hyundai Ionic Electric, about 29 grand. They're all going for that much money. 120 mile range. Coming up a little bit short, but you know, a lot better than 75. Now that the GOP killed the federal tax credit, we should make a movie called Who Killed the Electric Car Again? Uh, that's what we should do. 120 miles electric. Yeah, there's already better stuff out there. Now they say that they're going to come out with an all electric version of this with a 200 mile range one of these days which who knows when that could mean I want to hold off for that one looks like a better deal the Land Rover something something plug-in hybrid you gotta look this one up hey it's even got your drink holders, sunroof. Huh, this might be the one if I ever get rich. Okay. Ah, uh, here is another big hit of the show, at least as far as I'm concerned. The 2018 Nissan Leaf. Hmm. 150 mile range. Uh five passenger starts at just under 30 grand uh, maybe by the time I'm ready to afford it you know who will be gone and the uh, rebate federal rebate will be back because uh, unfortunately right now the rebate is being cut 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 short but something I really like I'd get it if I could. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. But I think it's just a little bit cheaper than the uh, Chevy Bolt, which has a 230 mile range. But 150 will probably keep me out of trouble. Maybe I should just spend a couple thousand dollars more and get a Chevy Bolt. Decisions, decisions for the wealthy. Uh, probably gonna be another five years before I can afford one of these used. Something to look forward to. Let's see how she looks inside. Let's see how she looks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty much. Nothing special, but not bad. Good enough. Oh, plug-in hybrid. Mitsubishi. Outlander. I think this is the only plug-in hybrid SUV around. Besides a fucking $70,000 Range Rover. Hmm. Very interesting. I like it. I wonder if you can get a carpool lane sticker with this thing. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. bad on the inside good enough at least good enough and in the back in the back and I can't get this oh it opens it's got room for your stuff and for me that is important I want something that can do it all and this might be it if I can get my question about the carpool sticker answered. And it's a five-seater. I wonder how much they want for it. Very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Hmm. Well, I stopped by this Mitsubishi booth. Well, I just found out. It runs for about 25 miles on Pure Electric. And you can get a carpool sticker with this 
HOV, they call it. HOV lane, whatever you want to call it. And it sells for about 34 grand. Now, if I had 34 grand to toss around, I'd tell I want mine in blue. I would have ordered it now. I would have ordered it because it's got everything I need. Five seats, lots of room for stuff. Carpool lane sticker. Probably take the seats out, put some cargo in it. Very interesting. Definitely my favorite car, almost. One of my favorites. We often have special editions. Another is the mm. that you see in For the last the 10 years, Volkswagen has been teasing us the with this <laughs> new <laughs> minibus, <laughs> and they never go into production with it. I wonder if this time they really mean business. This is supposed to be all electric. I wonder if they're really going to actually build this thing. Because they're always talking about building it and they never do it. But if this actually does get built and it goes into production and it's going to be all electric, and if I got some money in my pocket at the time, I'm buying one. So, of course, by the time they come out with it, I might be dead. Um, they say 2022 or something like that. About four or five years from now. Might be too old to drive. We'll see. The electric Volkswagen E Golf. Now, this car is really nice. On. This car is really nice inside. Also best in class in matter of fact, I don't know, all the electrics, it probably has a nice now, interior. Which is I don't know what the range is, is though. I think a hundred and something. Actually, we almost got one, but the Cars. salesman just had an attitude. Well, we couldn't buy it used anyway because they just started any making them. How you doing? Right. Would you take one with the kayak up there? That might be a... A canoe? I don't know. Someone tell me if you can, if you know what kind of boat that is. So the Tiguan Limited is... The Honda Clarity Electric. Uh, it's got about 115 miles of electric range. It's kind of ugly on the outside, but it sure is nice on the inside. Real nice inside. I don't know if it's... Probably coming in a little bit late on the game, which is 110 mile range. Excuse me. Do you know what the range is on the electric car? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Kevin. Now here is the car for me, a Chevy Bolt. Maybe I should find a job so I can afford to buy one of these or something like that. Uh, pure electric, 200 something mile range. Nice big windows and it's all electric. Pretty good room in the trunk and it's all electric. It's got a pretty good interior. Pretty big uh, display panel, uh, CRT screen, I mean, uh, what a touch screen, and it's all electric. By the way, did I mention it's all electric? Um, is there a deadline to get the uh, federal rebate on these? It's just by the end of the year, oh. so it, it counts for this year's taxes. Oh, okay. To be guaranteed, we don't know if that offer will be renewed. It depends on who gets a piece, right? Yeah. <laughs> it depends on, yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. A nice car. Yeah. I like it. This is our LC. We do have a premiere in the middle of the display as well. Hi. Uh, Hi. We are sitting in the back of the Chevy Volt. Volt with a V. Not Volt with a V. The back seat is a cross between the joke and a nightmare uh, well, other than that, the car is nice i think it's got like 50 miles electric range and then the uh, gas thingy kicks in to keep the battery charged over there is the chevy volt again 
just electric. 55 miles just electric. And teeny, teeny, itty bitty, teeny tiny windows. Look like low rider windows. Look like. Mm -hmm. The mini Countryman plug-in hybrid. Uh, it's got a gas motor that runs a car. It's a plug-in hybrid. It's not a full electric. Uh, it goes about, I don't know, 15, 20 miles on pure electric power. And then it runs on gas after that. Oh, I forgot to ask him about the carpool lane. Um, well, I'll ask about that in a minute. And over here is the full-blown electric. Now, right now, it's just a concept car. Or so they say. I don't even know if it's even going to be a production vehicle. It depends. <coughs> like I say, it depends on who gets impeached. Um, cool little car, though small car can't put your bike in it but whatever all right now here is a lean mean green machine going to the few who can afford it well if this would be a nice electric car to have if money was no problem in other words this car isn't for me but it's a nice car nonetheless oh mostly electric but a, i think with a gas battery charger in it this is the electric electric it's been around for a while it doesn't look like it's changed much uh, i3 this thing is so bad they won't let you in it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this thing is a little too planet x for most people but it's also overpriced we pay 45 grand for this but it's nice nice carpool lane oh speaking of carpool lane this big sedan is actually carpool lane compatible it's a uh, what's it called e5 or something like that i don't know these names let me see which one is it excuse me it's the 5.30. It ain't cheap. Volvos. They do run good. I still got one. Hi. Do you have any electrics here? Hybrid. All clear hybrid. Okay. So this is a hybrid. Plug-in hybrid? Can you get a carpool sticker with them? Yes. You can? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, let me take a look at these. Hey, plug-in hybrid. You can get a carpool sticker with this. Uh, sure is big. Sure is big for a hybrid. Plug-in electric. Probably it's not an electric electric. But over here, this is the plug-in hybrid sedan. That is carpool sticker compatible. If it ain't got a carpool sticker, it ain't shit. That's what I have to say about it. <laughs> plug in, plug in. Right over here. And here is the plug in hybrid Volvo station wagon or SUV, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. They should put a carpool sticker on it just for marketing purposes. And here is your plug for the plug in plug. Plug, 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 plug. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they don't make them like they did when I made them. That's for damn sure. Oh, when they made mine, that's what I meant. Okay. Now, here is the car that started it all. The Tesla. Did that drop something? And this is the new one that they were supposed to have been building, but running into snags with the Tesla Model 3. I guess they'll start making it one of these days. The 
direct competitor with the Chevy Bolt. But uh, is this a five-seater or a four-seater? Mm. Hi. No knobs on the dashboard. It's all the whole car runs off the uh, wow, you grab the whole CRT display. Yeah, what happens if the display craps out? You're in a world of trouble. <laughs> what happens if you actually hit it and break the screen and you're stuck in the middle of the desert? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I'll start building it one of these days. <laughs> when they got are they coming any closer to actually getting caught up with their production goals with this? I would say so. It's starting to. We're going to go 2018. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Sounds good. Beginning of next year. Okay, thanks a lot. Yes. Tesla. Way well, more interesting than the car is this double wide, kind of like trailer home that they used for a display. It's got uh, the solar roof tiles on it. Uh, or does it? There's the old model, whatever they call it. Yeah, this would be a cool little house. You could kind of rig it around. I want the house more than the car. Way cool. The Fiat 500E can now do 121 in the city, 100 on the highway. And the girl told me, you can lease one of these for like 90 bucks a month or something like that. So, hmm, hmm, who needs to buy one? You can lease it that cheap. I always had a bad taste in my mouth about leases, but that's almost a giveaway. So, I'm... <laughs> Uh, I would seriously consider that if I got a job in Burbank and I knew I was going to be working there every day. It might work. The Honda Clarity Electric. Uh, it's got about 115 miles of electric range. It's kind of ugly on the outside, but it sure is nice on the inside. Real nice inside. I don't know if it's probably coming in a little bit late on the game with just 110 mile range. Excuse me. Do you know what the range is on the electric car? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Chrysler makes a plug-in electric well you know gas with a small teeny battery plug-in hybrid version of this pacifica now i have yet to find out if it is carpool lane solo compatible if it is it'd be a pretty cool little machine well a cool big machine that's probably the biggest plug-in carpool lane compatible car out there so, room for everything, all your stuff, all your people. And you can get in the carpool lane solo. Hmm, I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this. Mm hmm Well, I really don't know how eco a diesel could be. Well, they say it's eco diesel. Interesting. Dodge, Ram pickup truck the only thing you really need a pickup chore the only thing you need a pickup truck for is to tow stuff otherwise it's crazy to own one I mean a big bulky thing can't get in the parking lots and terrible gas mileage you really can't put that much stuff in there either not as much as you could with a van but if you're gonna tow things there's nothing else better than a pickup truck but that's it otherwise you're crazy to have one you think it makes you more macho, think again.